she had a hooded sweatshirt with her hood up and she had her hair had been dyed recently it was like a funny color and it was hanging down in front of her face and she spent the whole first day with her legs crossed with her head looking down and as a facilitator i thought this is someone i have to look after and i'm going to make sure that i'm sitting close to her as often as possible to get her engaged and if you had said to me you know who in this room do you think is going to be wildly successful and create positive change? On that first day, I don't think she would have been my bad. Uh, I, to be honest, I almost quit my job because I was just so nervous about doing something so different, you know, just going away by myself and just so new for me. So I was just like terrified, but when I got here, it's probably been one of the most incredible experiences of my life. It was like really touching and I learned a lot and I actually I grew a lot from it. And it's incredible. The first few days of me being in the community, we were planning to do um, an information meeting with the kids and parents, but also an information with meeting with the chief and county. Spoke about the program and her expectations and her hopes for the community and all these ideas that we hadn't even planned to start flowing out of her mouth so naturally. And I think that people were really taken back by that and so like surprised at how this girl who usually, as the community member said, I mean as a community member said, um, walked to the community like quietly, head down, not looking up, not interested, is now, like, to quote this lady, holding her head up high, walking with a new confidence in her step, and really working towards something. Um, and I think she had recognized that, and then the community saw that in her, and that was the spark. I guess like um, a lot of people here from the last training said you know just a huge difference in me even in October as soon as I went home after the training my co-workers said you know Kara has just such a new confidence about her and it changed her and, but, but yeah I just I'm way more confident it's like almost at my community in a different light. I was just so negative and I never seen anything positive in it and so when we were doing exercises about um, like finding your resources and stuff like that I just I seen things in a whole different light. Like the resources, I was listening to the other uh, community mentors talk about how they didn't have like a community center or health center and all this stuff and my community has all those things. So. so what do you like about um, having right to play on Wagashek? It builds people's confidence and like I like come into it because it's fun. Get to learn new stuff. Like what? Leadership skills. I have a really tiny group. It's about eight girls. I have a hard time getting the boys in, but the girls, um, they at first. They didn't really know what to say to me, they didn't know how to talk to me, like I know everybody, but they were just like whatever, you know, but uh, you know, the program, they just, they're like coming to me and cling to me and they respect me and it's just, it's, it's so weird like being a role model for them and the, the girls actually shoveled my driveway one night when I was, wasn't home and it's just like, Uh, 
Um, and then I think that the moment where it hit me that uh, that she was like someone to be reckoned with was when she came back for that second community mentor workshop. And she walked in with her shoulders back, standing tall, smiling. She gave Kate this huge hug when she entered the room. She was chatting it up with different people. And she wasn't somebody who whispered her ideas anymore. She actually like shared them loudly. And I think um, for me, I just felt like, wow, we have somebody who has demonstrated that when given the chance to share her voice, you can really create massive change in your community, but also in yourself. Um, being consistent with it, I guess, because I, I haven't, like, gave up, really. I'm not really one to follow through on things. <laughs> but um, I'm glad that I've stuck with the program because it is making a difference in my